Awesome. Thank you all for coming today. We're here to unveil and announce Carnivores, the tour with Lincoln Park and 30 Seconds to Mars, special guest to AFI. It kicks off, I believe it kicks off August 8th in West Palm Beach and then hits up 25 cities. Tickets are going to go on sale this Friday, August, uh, this Friday the 7th at uh, LiveNation.com. Also, if you're in the fan clubs of 30 Seconds to Mars or Lincoln Park, you can pick it up on their websites today. Fans can get tickets at 3 p.m. PST, and that's at 30secondstomorrows.com and lincolnpark.com. So let's not waste any more time. Let me introduce the reason we're here today, Chester Bennington and Mike Shinoda of Lincoln Park and Jared Leto of 30 Seconds to Mars. Hello. Hi. Awesome. I'm going to kick things off with a couple questions, and we'll open it up to the media, the fans, and the people inside the screens. So, for starters, you can ask, get asked this a lot, but what brought you guys together to do this tour? Love. <laughs> Love and respect, admiration. Uh, I mean, for me, it was just an opportunity to uh, do something fun and exciting with a band that I really respect and admire, and some guys who have always been uh, incredibly kind and fun and I think an awesome example uh, of how you do this. How do you, you know, have a band and share it with a group of people uh, that you love and do it over a long period of time. So uh, I think Linkin Park is you know, it's a, 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 a kind of a shining example of how to do things right, and we were really excited to jump on board for this wild adventure with you guys. So thanks for having 30 Seconds to Mars. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. How nice. Yeah, thanks, Jared. Um, from, from our part, I do want to add that I know that a lot of, um, well, I mean, we're, we're very um, active about reaching out to our fans, finding out what our fans are into what they like, you know, how things are going for them with what we're doing. And um, it kind of goes without saying that, you know, a lot of, uh, we share a lot of fans. A lot of, a lot of the fans like both bands um, and AFI as well. Um, and so it just seemed like a no-brainer to put together this thing. And, and to be honest, you know, I'm a, I'm a, when I listen to the radio, when I listen to music that's going on out there in the world, I'm kind of missing a little bit of that visceral rock energy. Um, and, and so I feel like this is a great moment for, for you know, these three bands to get together and, and bring it to the, the fans in the U.S. Cool. And let me ask you how you came up with the title Carnivores for the tour and if it's just an elaborate ruse to get Jared to eat meat. <laughs> it was actually, we, we have two, two uh, well, we have a vegan and vegetarian in the band too, so it's not a, obviously not about meat. Um, vegetables didn't sound as good for a tour. Yeah, the vegetable. The They're going to sell turkey board. legs at the front door. Veganators. Yes. <laughs> Get a ticket and a pig. We're um, sorry. It's obviously more about like that visceral energy, um, you know, something carnivorous. It just gives for me. It gives me the feeling of of um, something like almost like animal, you know. In the uh, the there is something about that in that rock, exciting rock concert energy um, that that just brought the the name to mind. Cool. And, and let me ask you. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this, but obviously you guys released a teaser online with a little bit of new music. If people look carefully, there's a little piece of paper there that says some things. Is there anything you guys can say now about what's coming up? You know, our road? fans are pretty clever. Uh, I mean, we've put together some pretty elaborate uh, situations for our fans to kind of figure out in the past. And um, so uh, putting out the, the clip that we did with some new music and, and the little uh, clues here and there, uh, that stuff was like figured out like right away. Um, you know, I think that uh, for us, we're really excited about this week. It's a huge week. You know, we're announcing the tour. We're very excited about going out with 30 Seconds to Mars and AFI. Um, we're also really excited about the new record that we're, that we're putting out. And uh, so there's something uh, happening on Thursday that's going to be very, very exciting for our fans. Uh, so pay attention. We can't tell you exactly what it is, 
But, I mean, everyone's going to figure it out. Right. You know, if you, you can, you're smart, you can guess. Yeah, it's not that hard to figure it out. <laughs> and, 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 Jared, outside of the continued success of uh, Love, Lust, Faith, Dreams, is there what, what's, what's coming down the road for 30 Seconds to Mars? Well, this is the most exciting thing in our lives right now. Um, this is a dream come true. Uh, you know, it's been an, uh, an incredible year for our band, and I think that uh, come August, September, this is going to be one of the most amazing adventures ever. You know, you hope to do things in your life with people that inspire you and people that you can learn from uh, and to stand on a stage in front of the Lincoln Park Army out there and the Mars Army, I think it's going to be absolute insanity. I can't wait, I can't wait for the chaos. <laughs> Which has already begun. It's so powerful, I killed the mic. <laughs> uh, amazing. I think that's a sign of things to come in the future. And, and let me ask for the... Projecting. Uh, great. And hold on to the mic because I was going to ask. So this is Thank you very much. You want that one? <laughs> There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> and also, this is going out live on Vert, and did you want to explain kind of what Oh, yeah, was? I wasn't just on Twitter. I was actually on Vert talking to people because this announcement is being broadcast right now on Vert.com, V-Y-R-T, which is really uh, a platform where bands can share their concerts with fans all over the world in a really high quality and a social way. So it's a fun way to watch live, uh, uh, event, uh, live events online. And hopefully there will be uh, a show that we're going to broadcast for all the people that won't be in America to see this tour, people that are in Russia and in Brazil and in Germany and the U.K. and in Asia, uh, people that can get a piece of what this insane uh, collaboration is going to be like. I mean, it's a meeting of the minds, and I think something that uh, people are, are, are not going to want to miss an orgy of art and music. There's your headline. Awesome. Let's There's open up. Okay. There's your headline. No pun intended. Thank you. Let's open up to some questions from the media here. You have Loudwire on your lap. Great. How are you guys doing? Hey, this tour will no doubt inspire. It'll be a big first show for fans to come out. Do you guys have one? What was your first show that you saw? that as a young fan that moved you growing up? I think I was 13 years old when I went to my first concert. Um, it was very exciting. There was a, a, cute, a cute girl that I wanted to go to the concert with, and our parents were kind enough to let us go alone, which was kind of crazy. And uh, I saw um, Material Issue. Uh, they supported Front 242. You guys are familiar with that band? I was very into like industrial music, um, you know, Ministry, Skinny Puppy, uh, Knights of Ebb, um, and of course Front, two, Front 242. And those guys came out and they looked like something from outer space. I mean, they had like tubes connected to them. It, it, it literally was like the coolest thing. And, it, and it, for me, it was really interesting because Material Issue is so, they're just a live band, you know, guys up there playing their instruments singing songs and then front 242 comes out and it's just like this event you know with all these really cool props and the, the music was very intense and so it was really a cool experience and um and i think that um it was also interesting because i don't think i paid that much attention to the girl i went to the concert with because it was so cool you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, premiere radio on your left hi guys um i'm wondering if uh this, is, this has been brewing for a long time, whether you've been talking about this on and off for, for ages and it's happening now or whether it, you know, how it actually did come about. Actually, um, we just made the decision like yesterday and, and thank God it was Jared too because I don't know if Jonah Hill can sing, but I, we just said whoever wins the Oscar, I mean, that's who we're taking on tour. So we're kind of lucky that it turned out this way. Hey, McConaughey can play those bongos, brother. <laughs> Bring him along. Let me tell you. <laughs> Drum circle in the, in the parking lot with McConaughey. That's it. That's it. June Squibb. You know, it's funny. Like, putting tours together, putting tours together is really kind of a difficult thing because of everybody's schedules. I mean, we're all, like, working in our... Bands are always focused on what they need to be doing. And so um, there have been times in the past where, you know, uh, it would have been great to go out with 30 Seconds to Mars um, or AFI. And, uh, 
you know, the timing just was, was never really in the cards. And so, um, you know, uh, this, is, this is the time that it was supposed to happen. Um, and uh, we're all very, very excited about it. I mean, this is going to be, we know, we talk to our fans all the time. And we, we like, every couple of years we pull our fans. It's kind of silly, but we, we pull our fans and, and we ask them what they like. And every single, it's like, what, every year it seems like? Uh, 30 Seconds to Mars is like number one band they want to see us tour with. And, and it's, uh, it's really interesting. Um, uh, so what we're, what we're really excited about doing um, this summer is really bringing not only um, a group of bands together that respect each other and, and, and are going to have a great time sharing the stage together, but also, you know, it's going to be a show that our fans uh, collectively are going to be really excited about because I know that we share a lot of the same fans with 30 Seconds to Mars and AFI. Um, and, uh, and so it, I think that our fans are really going to enjoy this experience. Grammy.com on your left. Hey guys, uh, I'm wondering the old adage of uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll aside, how do you uh, keep healthy on the road, build up that stamina? Because your shows are completely energetic. I know the audiences are energetic. Um, how do you keep going and be able to do these dates night after night, especially vocally? Are you doubting our vitality? <laughs> Red Bull in a Viagra, no. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to answer that. You know what I was thinking about? Um, figures gra Grammy.com brings the sex into it all. Uh, I was just thinking how great it is AFI is on this tour. Sorry to sidestep, um, but uh, you know they're such a legendary band. I mean, they've been making albums for so long, and they have such a committed and devoted uh, following, uh, and they're you know masterful on stage, uh, true performers. Uh, and, and I really love those guys, sweethearts, so really proud to be sharing that uh, with them as well. Uh, talk about, you know, just crossing swords in the best of ways with uh, three really interesting... Uh, I'm really sleepy, sorry to give all these... <laughs> these uh, bad... Uh, bad... Uh, Twitter... Uh, yeah, no, I always go for analogies, so this one's bad bullshit statements. Uh, cool. Should we do anyway, one? sorry. Yes. Uh, but somebody else maybe should answer. Energy, I think I'm, we're going to be fine. But You know, it's funny. Know. Adrenaline's an amazing drug. It's yes, like, it doesn't answer. matter. Like, it doesn't matter because there are definitely days, I mean, you know, uh, Jared and I and Mike, you know, we're up there like bouncing around like crazy and screaming all day long. And, um, and, and sometimes, you know, it's, it, you can do everything you want, everything you can. You can drink lots of water. You can sleep. You can... Uh, you know, not participate in all the extracurricular activities that um, fans like to assume is happening backstage. Um, and sometimes all it really met comes down to is the adrenaline of the thrill of being on stage in front of people who can't wait to hear the music that you're about to play. Um, and, and so, you know, uh, that works for me every time. It doesn't matter how good I feel or how bad I feel. Once I step on stage, man, it's like, bam! And uh, it, it, it really is the best, it's the best drug in the world uh, that we get to do every night, you know, and uh, it's free. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's the best part of the day when you tour is the, is the couple hours that we're on stage, you know. Um, that's what we look forward to, it's what we get out of bed for, and it's what we sacrifice for, and um, it's, it's the best experience for the band and the fans. So, uh, I, you know, I think that's the thing that, you know, makes the job um, on the road so much fun is that blast of the adrenaline that you get when you walk on stage. <laughs>